In this Tixio review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about Tixio. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll also leave a discounted link so you can get your money's worth for Tixio. Here it is. Tixio is a unified workspace for tools and teams. This is the homepage. Overall, Tixio looks very simplistic and very easy to use. Let me just go ahead and show you all the features that as a beginner you would want to use on this software. Over here, once you've created your account, this is where you can access all your workspaces. As you can see, you have your archive managing it, workspace settings and you can create a new workspace right here you can create a new board this is where you'd want to add all of your features on tixio once you click on it you can create a folder or create a board we're just going to quickly create a board as you can see it opens up a new untitled board this can be shared with anyone that you want as long as your account is linked to your google drive if you do double click you can actually change the title of this board so we'll just change the title to tasks as you can see, I've actually already created an untitled board beforehand. So if you want to delete any boards, you can click on these three dots here and just simply delete. Now back on the tasks board, as you can see at the moment, this is private. This means that it is not shared with anybody in your drive. Along this sidebar right here, you can have your board, your wiki, your files, or your templates if you have the upgraded plan. Right here, if you click on files, you can see that if you are linked to your Google Drive, you can actually have all your Google Drive files in this section. But we're just going to stay on the board section for now. Right up here, you can see different types of features that Tixio includes and different types of features you can actually add onto your board. Up in the top right, you have a share button. Again, this is where you'd share to different people and different emails on your Google Drive. And right here again, this icon is where you can click to add different features to your board. Moving over again, you can click see more to quick save your board or log your board. And then these three dots, you can change your board settings, whether you want to add it to your favorites or duplicate it or copy it or import, export and archive it. Or finally, if you want to delete it, this is where you delete this page. So let's just go ahead and add a bookmark to this board. Since again, if we were doing tasks, you'd want to bookmark some tasks. So right here, you'd click bookmark. Once you've clicked it, something like this should appear. And then as you notice, these options up on this top area would have disappeared. However, this little icon right here does bring them back and you can add as many different things that you want. So we're just gonna click that away real quick. Right here, you can actually edit your title. So there we go. If we just want to edit a title, you just click on it. And then we'll just change it something to like latest task. So there we go. We'll just add it as that just so we can bookmark any links to the task that we need to do. And if you click on this section right here, this is where you'd actually have to paste the link as it says, right or paste a link here. Going back to this drop down section, if you are to click it again, there is also a checklist section right here. So if we were to click that, then it creates a checklist section right next to your bookmark section. So I just went ahead and typed goals because as a checklist, usually they are some sort of goals that you'd want to check so if you're sharing this with any businesses or teams or friends then right here is where you'd add the goals and everyone can check or uncheck any goals that you do right under this section it has all or the active goals or if you've done your goals and right here you'd have the ones that have been done right below that you can actually add a task so this is where you'd add some of the tasks or the goals that you need to do and then it can be checked or unchecked whether you've done them or not adding a task on tixio is as simple as just typing it and then once you have done you can click enter like that and it just adds it there you go you can see go for a run i typed it in clicked enter and it appeared on the goals page you can add as many of these as you want so let's just go ahead and add five there we go as you can see i've got five now we've got go for a run review tixio check import videos send emails upload images so as you can see i've got the active ones like this and then I've got the done ones, which I tick and it should appear as done or completed. And then this is really good for teams because then you can know who's done what and what task is actually done within your team. Moving on to the next feature of Tixio, you can add here simple notes. Again, something like this should appear, another text box where you can just add whatever you want. I've went ahead and labeled the ideas in the title section right here. Again, easy and simplistic. And right here, you can just write any ideas down again as a simple note like we imported so again like i've just wrote down this ideas section or this note section would just be to write any simple notes that you have to mind or if your team has any notes they want to put down they just create a simple note section like i said and they'd add it we're just going to go and delete this one i just created so right here after i added the title i just went and typed two random notes top of my head make videos short and snappy create a website the good thing about tixio is that the board actually can be designed or laid out to whatever 
type of way you want. If I were to just move this over here, it can go over there or that can go over there and that can go there. Again, this is another cool feature that is in Tixio. You can actually have different areas in different sections. Over here in these last two sections of this drop down menu, you can actually add a feed or like a blog feed to your board, or you could even add a web page to your board where you just add the URL. Now I'll show you another cool little features that is actually on Tixio. If you actually click or hover over this right here and then click it, you can actually change the color of your notes or ideas easily by just clicking one of these or you can actually click a custom color and then choose whatever custom color you would like. You can also choose to show or hide the icon, which then actually replaces the little emojis next to the text that you wrote. Or you can choose to show or hide the header, which is like that. There you go. So I just went and changed the colors of these little features so it can actually just show you what type of board you can do yourself and what type of customization options you have on Tixio. So finally, once you have created your board on Tixio or any sort of business or team plan you want, you can actually go ahead and again, click up here to share with whoever you want. If you were to click that and you were to link your Google Drive or any sort of drive, you can actually share it with other people and then anyone can access this and tick or untick goals that they have done. And it's actually a really good area where a team can work together fully. And there you go, that was a Tixio review. Just to quickly run over what type of features that Tixio uses and how it's a great workspace for teams and tools to work together. Personally, I liked how you can add some notes to the page and the board. And I also liked how you can add a checklist and easily implement different things you've done within the team. Overall, I think Tixio is a great workspace for teams. Would I personally recommend it to a team or a business? Yes, absolutely. It's not only really simplistic to use, but also features a good variety of sections. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.